You're watching Good Morning Carolinas with Jason Glasspool, Crystal Costa, meteorologist Darren Stack, and Amanda Kinson. And a very good Wednesday morning to you. For most of us, we are halfway through the week. Yeah. Almost there. <laughs> hey, Crystal's off this morning, so Alex and I are hanging out. Um, yeah. Hey, you know, we've been following uh, James Gandolfini mm -hmm. and his funeral, but it's one of the highest honors on the Great White Way. Hollywood, <laughs> da, 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 Hollywood. Hey, we have got a movie star in the studio this morning. This is Jif, and believe it or not, Jif has Crystal, 175,000 Facebook fans, and he just came out with a movie. Uh, a little busy. Yeah. Yep, this is inspired by the music. I really believe in the healing power of music. And, and you got, you've got a lot of great songs out there, but my favorite is, I, and I've been practicing the lyrics. Do you care if I try them out on you? Go ahead. Okay, all right, here it goes. I am like a bird, I wanna fly away. I don't know where my home is. I don't know where my home is. Huh? Oh, you sound great. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I don't hold a candle Thank to you. Thank you for that serenade. I feel I feel serenaded. The morning <laughs> just got You've better. You've probably been serenaded all morning. Nelly Furtado, thanks so much for joining us. Aw, thank you. Thank you. As Senator Barack Obama walks by a greeting. Good? I'm doing well, sir. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. How are you feeling I'm today? Feeling really good. Senator, do you have a long-term plan for the gas prices? What can we do in the short term? Well, short term, what I'd like to see is... So you think the gas tax holiday, is that more of a... Are you saying more of a gimmick than it is a... It's a stunt. A it's, it's what Washington does. So I'm Jason Claspel with Katie Stam, Miss America 2009. Wow, how does that feel? Firefighters had to take the machine apart, and then they ended up giving him the gumball. Well, he never let go of the gumball, but he went in there to the grab, and they were like, here, kid, have more. I totally disagree. So does Holly. Uh, yeah. Something other than that. Don't give them the free gumballs. And they give them extra treats. So anyways, that's... Crime does pay, apparently. <laughs> I don't know. We're up in arms about that. Uh, well, Hanson. Remember the group Hanson? Of course. Yeah, okay, so they're celebrating 21 China, years China, together. China. And in honor of the occasion, the three brothers are launching a new beer. It is called Hops. A throwback from the band's 1990s hit song. Hey, not bad over there, yeah. Jays. You're like the fourth member. Welcome to Afghanistan. Bullet-ridden walls and buildings cover most of Kabul, Afghanistan. War is something the Afghans know well. Terrorists burned down 187 schools and killed 85 students and teachers across Afghanistan. And still, women are determined to go to school and their numbers are skyrocketing. We're in the epicenter of the earthquake here in Port-au-Prince. Children injured in the earthquake are set up in a clinic outside of the orphanage both day and night. There it is, doesn't look that great but it's energy and it's protein and gives you strength. Yeah, not bad. Bulletproof glass help keep the soldiers safe from an outside attack. When you see these guys, they're excited to see you. It brings a lot of joy to their hearts to see you here. How does that make you feel, just to know that you can do something for them? That makes me feel great. You know what I mean? That they feel that way. Um, it's not an ego thing. It just makes me feel good that they're happy. Okay, here's what we know so far this morning. So uh, one officer is dead. One of them is also injured. They're saying, the, the Boston Police Commissioner, uh, Ed Davis, is saying that these are the terrorists. He says, quote, these are terrorists. They came here to kill us. One of the suspects, suspect number one that the FBI released the photos of, and the black hat, they're saying that is the one that is killed and that the one that they are searching for is suspect number two in the white hat. People, that, is, that, is police, if, that is from the Boston Police Commissioner Ed Davis saying they are terrorists and that they are here to kill us. That is uh, not confirmed by the FBI, but that is what the Boston Police Department believes. It all started this morning with a robbery at a 7-Eleven near MIT. Uh, officers were called to that scene. An officer was shot at MIT. Uh, the two suspects carjacked somebody, fired shots at police officers. ABC reporting that they threw grenades out the window at police officers as they headed towards Watertown, Massachusetts. And uh, so they're saying one suspect is dead. This is the picture. This is the first suspect, suspect number one, the FBI released yesterday in the black hat. Suspect number two, the one in the white hat, is the one that they are searching for right now. Right.
Welcome to the fifth annual Dancing with the Ori County Stars live from the Marina Inn at the Grand Dunes. I'm Jason Claspel. And I'm Amanda Kinsett. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. It's a very exciting evening. 14 couples will wow. take the stage tonight, not only competing in ballroom skills, but of course they're trying to earn money for early college education. Yeah, that's what this is all about. It's about your vote. We're trying to get you at home to participate in what we're doing here for a wonderful, wonderful program, the Ori County K-12 Foundation. It helps give kids the start that they need that might they might not be able to get on their own but gives them the tools necessary to reach higher education right four two one seven two eight seven be the first caller and you get your pair of free tickets to the ultimate elvis tour concert tonight i'm gonna hand these to you okay man and this is a uh, little do elvis i'm gonna do my thing <clears throat> Stop God Almighty, let me tell you the news. My head's been wet with the midnight dews. I've been down on a bending knee, talking to the man from Galilee. Oh, my God spoke and it spoke so sweet. I thought I heard the shuffle of angels' feet. They put a one hand upon my head, and great God Almighty, let me tell you what I said. Note the lovely feet work Mr. Classel has today. Uh, Shoulders down, sir. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, this is a little unnerving. We've got bats flying everywhere. <laughs> uh, it's not nerve-wracking for me. I've done it for years. <laughs> it's just easier to work the yeah. bees, but when you first start, I would recommend the gloves. Now, Paul, do you ever, do you ever get in a suit and you say, uh, you start going to slow mode, and you say, one small step for man, <laughs> one giant leap. For mankind. You ever no, just like walk there, around and do that? There has been a few times when I got in that suit and forget to fasten this little piece. This morning we're getting insider advice on how to get fall season essentials, including leather pops of color, winter whites, and prints without breaking the bank. Cosmopolitan Magazine's fashion director Michelle McCool joins us now with the hottest trends and must have pieces. Good morning to you, Michelle. Good morning. Okay, so what are some of the key pieces you should have for your fall wardrobe and how do you get them without breaking the bank? Well, let me show you. Let's start with these great faux snake pumps. And this is by Carson once. And you never quite fully answered, but the question I have, and I thought about it, uh, are they real? Well, they're real expensive and they're real big. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> does that do it? That does it. Hey, Dolly <laughs> Does Parton, that answer you? <laughs> th thanks so much. You're a great sport. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> and a very good and happy Tuesday morning. We have made it past Monday. But yet again, here we uh, are, Jason, on another Tuesday. Yeah, and already looking forward to the weekend. You wanted the warmth. The warmth is here. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm, uh, take mm -hmm. it back. No, absolutely not. I want the 70s not. back. Gosh, I got some fun facts on you. You use a GPS on your Blackberry to find restaurants. There's one thing also that you and I share. We just cannot stand it. When people stand behind us for this one reason, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> You're really bringing this up? <laughs> um, yeah, when I have to uh, go to the little artist room, um, I, I hate it when uh, somebody's standing behind me. I, I just can't do it. That, but that was that was an episode yeah. where I almost quit doing my show. Yeah, well, you're looking good. We applaud you for that. Hey, it's Larry the Cable Guy. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Jason, thanks for having me. I don't make them. I'm going to make my husband make them. But these are great, guys. Awesome, awesome. Amanda gets such the tough assignments every single morning. She is out there doing the hard stuff. Yeah. <laughs> God, gelato. Oh, that's so good, isn't it? <laughs> uh, well, you wouldn't expect to see alligators on your next beach trip, but the way things are going, you just might. All right, get this. So this summer, an alligator removal contractor in Polly's Island has been called out not to capture one, two, three, four, but five. Yeah alligators already on the beaches. A uh, sea turtle patrol volunteer took these pictures of a three footer in Litchfield Beach yesterday. Well, she says the gator put up a bit of a fight when it was lassoed, but then, you know, it settled down. Once she had taped his mouth, I mean, he's very strong to hold on to. You had to use two hands and hold him firmly. Two miles of road has to be dug up more than 20 feet deep for the piping. The Hotel McCurdy was the ultimate in travel comfort in the days before chain and boutique hotels. Hotel opened its doors June 17, 1917. The new owners say the building was built to stand the test of time, and they hope to continue its legacy 
for the next hundred years. Right, the Bulls in Spain takes a terrifying turn on its final day. Ouch, mm -hmm. government officials say a bull rammed his horns into the groin <laughs> of a British tourist. Ow. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, just one of 11 people injured at the famous festival. Pack it up. <laughs> oh, cheap shot there on oh, you. Oh, oh, they don't scare me, Pangbo. You don't oh, scare me. There you go. If I stay in front of them, they can't catch me, right? Yeah, so I'll go as fast as I can. <laughs> oh! <laughs> hey, that was dirty. <laughs> I almost bit it. Welcome back to AM Evansville. I'm Jason Claspo, live at a Kitchen Affairs, one of my most favorite places to be, with Shelly. Good morning, Good Shelly. Morning. Good morning. All right, so we've got two things going on. First is happened? dessert. Yeah, look what's happening. Boy, that thickened up quick. That thickened All right, Matt, thanks for that. We're live at Skin Illusions Tattoo in Boonville. Robert Hepner, better known as Tattoo Bob across the industry. Well, what are we doing here? Well, we're going to put a little corporate logo on you, and I think we got it. There you go. <laughs> All right, depending on how you look at it, it's uh, 7 for Fox 7, or... This way, it's L for uh, Andy Overton calls it L for loser. So, <laughs> yeah, look at this. This is uh, this is your leader hosens from the you younger look like days. One of the old crowd balls around there. What? <laughs> well, yeah, I like the outfit. What yeah. do you think? Yeah, I think it looks good. Yeah, yeah you've got the, the shoes going yeah. for me here. Yeah, I like the shoes. Yeah. <laughs> and th these are they call them fancy pants. Fancy pants. That's what they 